Today we're going to review part number 20545I-ST-72-10. This is the Dexter trailer axle with the standard spindles. Comes with the idler hubs with a 514.5 inch bolt pattern. Axle is 72 inches long and has a 2,000 pound weight capacity. Now this part number includes everything shown here on the table. It includes the axle, includes these two idler hubs, includes the inner and the outer bearings. Now the bearing races are included and they are actually pre-installed into the hubs themselves. It does come with the grease seals, comes with these dust caps, the half inch lug nuts are included, and also a tub of the marine grade wheel bearing grease. Now this axle beam right here will act as part of your trailer suspension system. You can use it to replace an axle on your trailer or you can use it to fabricate a suspension to fit your specific application. Now the axle is constructed of a high strain steel if you notice the spring seats are welded to the underside of the axle, this is where your leaf springs would mount to. Since they're to the underside, it's called an underslung design axle. And that type of axle will give you a nice low ride height, which makes it easier to load and unload your trailer. The spindles on this axle you can see, there is no drop to them, it is a straight spindle. It uses a standard grease application. Now this does include the, we ship it with the castle nut and the cotter pin. And also when we do ship it, it is protected. Basically, you'll see the machined end here where the spindle is. That would be coated with a grease and then bubble wrap. And then we use a very thick corrugated tube that would actually slide over and then be wrapped around it for the protected from any damage from shipping. <clears throat> now the spring seats are welded on. The spindle is all welded on. Also in the middle, you might notice it might be hard to see on this video, but all the trailer axles will have a bend in the middle. In other words, it bends up and then goes down. And basically, it's right at the center of the axle. And the reason they do this, it'll help create a zero camber angle and keeps your wheels and tires for even road to tread contact across the width of the tires. So basically what happens is when this is installed like this, the weight when you load your trailer down will push down on the center and sort of even out that axle. And that'll ensure that the angle of your wheels is correct for your towing needs. That'll help as far as straight line acceleration and helps in the steady controlled towing. Now these idler hubs right here, they are made of a cast iron. They're very sturdy and durable. Does have the five on four and a half inch bolt pattern. Does use the wheel stud diameter of a half inch. And it does use these included half inch by 20 lug nuts. <clears throat> now this hub is designed to fit wheel sizes eight inch to 10 inch. And you'll notice with the braces already installed, you can put your outer bearing in. <clears throat> also for the inner bearing. This hub just happens to use the same part number for the inner and the outer bearing. Actually on the inner bearing, once you put your bearing in, you can see you just tap in your grease seal. And then once you get it all together, finish it off with the dust cap over it. And then to put your wheels and tires on, just use your lug nuts to go ahead and tighten your wheel and, wheel and tires down. Just like that. <clears throat> now the weight capacity on the axle is 2,000 pounds. The outer diameter of this axle tubing is one and three quarter inches. Spindle size diameter is one and one sixteenth inches. Now on an axle, there are multiple ways you can measure the length of an axle beam, but the two most accurate ways are gonna be hub face to hub face and spring center to spring center. These are your most accurate. I'm gonna show you how both of those are measured. Now the hub face to hub face, basically that's once the hubs are installed on each end, you would measure basically from the base of one wheel stud to the base of the wheel stud on the other hub. So in this case, I'm gonna give you an idea of the hub face to hub face. I don't have the hubs installed. But we can get a rough idea of where they would be positioned. So on this one, you could see would come right to 72 inches, hub face to hub face. <clears throat> now the spring center to spring center, that one's fairly easy to measure. You would measure from the center of this spring seat to the center of that spring seat. Now this measurement will actually give you also the approximate width of your trailer. So on this one, if we do center to center, you can see it's gonna be 58 inches. That would be your spring center to spring center length. <clears throat> so basically, if you're replacing your trailer's axle, you should be able to figure out which type you need by determining your trailer's capacity, the bolt pattern of the wheels, the brake type if it uses brakes, and then those two lengths, the hub face and spring center lengths. That should do it for the review on part number 20545i dash ST dash 72 dash 10 the Dexter trailer axle with the standard spindles includes the 
idler hubs with the five on four and a half inch bolt pattern.